Okay, the Acolyte just got canceled and I'm gonna say some things that are probably gonna piss off both sides. I wanna shut this off by saying I would love to see a season two of the Acolyte, but it did have some problems. But these problems are nothing to do with like woke culture or race bending and all the things that like the incels are complaining about. The problem with the Acolyte is the same problem that's pretty much with all Disney Plus show. Like this format just does not work. And that's because this format is soulless. And I know the creatives, they do their best to put the soul back into their shows. But these shows are made for algorithms and not for the story. There's a reason why they're only six episodes. Because if a show doesn't work, they'll have somebody hooked on the next show. Because what they want to do is six weeks is just enough time to get people to not unsubscribe to Disney+. Plus Because another show will be coming right after that. These shows are not set up to tell good stories. They're set up for the algorithm. And you'll notice that these shows have the same format. Short season, cliffhangers, they got the getting the costume at the end, saving all the best scenes for the finale. It's all done so that if somebody stops watching the season in episode two, there'll be so much stuff happening in the finale that people will be like, all right, let me go back and watch it. They're designed to keep subscribers. They're not designed to tell good stories. But not only do these studios do this, but they let their actors get dragged and get exposed to so much misogyny, so much racism. And the reason they do this is because they know other people will go out of their way to defend the show because the racist people are attacking the show. We think that the toxic fan base is a byproduct of the fandom, but no, it's basically by design by the studios. I myself didn't love The Acolyte. I loved the finale. I thought it, it was a decent story, but I didn't love the way it was being told, right? But I was defending the shit out of it to the racists and to the misogynists because I didn't want them spewing all this hate. So they use us to fight against each other to create buzz. Like we're all here fighting each other and like blaming the actors and the writers when really it's studio interference that's fucking all of this up. And we all know it. If you took like five seconds to think about it, we know it. Also, another thing, where are the budgets going, right? Because $200 million for a, a show like this, like the actors weren't huge, right? They weren't big gets. Like they weren't going to break the bank, right? They're not Robert Downey Jr. level, right? The special effects are fine, but they're not something to go home and write about. How are they spending $180 million on a show like The Acolyte, which I think is a good show, I think you could do it for less. And then you have a show like House of the Dragon, which is $200 million. Like, that show looks like a $200 million show. So, like, where is this money going to? Reshoots? Like, are they just embezzling money from these shows? Like, for example, She-Hulk cost $225 million to make. And I love She-Hulk. I want a season two. But, like, how? Right? House of the Dragon is $25 million less than that right? So it doesn't reflect it. Like, where is this money going, right? My, my point to this is that people would take more risk on shows if the budgets were smaller, because then if you lost money, you didn't lose that much money. I just don't think we need to go around blaming each other. I don't think we need to go around blaming the actors or blaming the writers or the creatives when it's really the studios that have been fucking this up for us. There's some executive taking home a fat check who doesn't give a shit about these shows.